telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of microexpressions and deflection. No verbal parody. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have. But the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on. But this place is still falling apart. And I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union. And can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless. He's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. Uh, so does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth, too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right, but consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. Uh, if Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah, well that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us He's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. Something more to this. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. God damn it! <laughs> Fine. Goodbye, Hoffman. <laughs> oh, thank you for the chat. Well, 
Let's kind of loot in here. Oh yeah, drink coffee. I can finally use the coffee maker. Drinking coffee with it. Takes the edge off. Oh, that's a mirror. Smash. Um, so that's the D5 exit. Anything else I'm missing? Let's go look at this. Email all core, core candidates to all concerned from Operative Grish Grisham. Lee Cassiano's initial findings. The ideal core candidate must be unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of any others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidates ego egomaniacs with a psychopathic tendencies or children. Nice! <laughs> so we got Ruvik. So that didn't work. So now they do Lily. Okay. All we know is that what happened last time is ego with psychopathic tendencies was in STEM, so child is our best bet. <laughs> yes, those people died, uh, and it tried to escape. Having access to Santa's school test results, we have able to narrow down the options. We feel we found the ideal core, core candidate, Lily Cassianos. Her tests show that she not only has godless ego, but she exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. We are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. Wow. Look. Oh, we can use the projector. Let's go use the projector. Hey, kitty cat. Am I moving over for a bit? Thanks, kitty. Uh, where do we go? We've missed one. Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. You know this. I've missed one somewhere. I, I need to go find it. I don't know where the hell it would be, though. Wait, is there anything... Like, on this wall? This is probably Kidman's desk. Because obviously this is our office, right? I think that'd be Kidman's. I don't know. That's Joseph's desk. Oh, right. Thanks, kitty. Um, let's... Weapon parts. I don't think... I just want to talk to Tatiana. I don't actually want to upgrade anything. Weapon upgrades. Can I actually upgrade anything? Firepower? I need to... Oh, actually, I do have 200. Yeah, that's why. that. I should be should upgrade the five pound the shotgun, but I'm lazy. Uh, <laughs> oops. Welcome back, detective. Hi. Ah, so right. Can I look at the lockers? I don't have any keys. Never mind. Let's talk. You seem more at ease, detective. You found a possible ally in this dangerous world. Not sure about that. I never know who to trust in here, present company included. A shame. After all we've been through together, isolation and distrust aren't symptoms of mental illness, but they are unfortunate byproducts of it. Closing yourself off from others does nothing but agitate your condition. You are human. You require connection the way a plant requires light. The only connection I require right now is to your machine. I've still got a long road ahead of me. <laughs> Damn, Sebastian! How am I ever going to get these nails right if you keep in... 
Hey, Tatiana was helping us for the entirety of the last game. Yeah, almost the entirety of the last game. Don't be a dick. I don't actually know what I want to get. get. I don't want this, actually. Oh, do I? No, what the fuck do I want? I probably want this. <laughs> I don't know what to get. <laughs> That's why I hate upgrade trees. I don't know, I don't know what's good. Probably this. This is probably useful. Um, I don't really like that. Health recovery. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. But we, we need to get through it first. That's really good. You can just sprinting at them. Stabbing. Right. Uh, let's get going. Let's save, actually. Uh, new stop. There you go. The Mallows facilities. Let's get going. Bye, Hoffman. Actually, is there anything I could talk to you more about? By the way. Oh, no. Okay. Goodbye, Hoffman. No, I can't open it. I can't open that one. Why is everything going blue? Oh, it's, it's just the lighting. I thought I saw something for Pez. It, look! Say to for say! Klein? What? <laughs> yes. Okay. I just want to know what it does. Alright, let's go back to Uni. Mate, can you imagine that? We, we go in here and we have to actually just fight a boss battle. That'd be so bullshit. <laughs> While you wait, you just find off waves of enemies or something. Jesus, we just loaded in already. Lots of, uh. Ooh, harpoon. Ooh, weapon part. Coffee. Never. I have to go through that again. So where are we? We are in the business district, which is fucking massive. Um, we probably Oh, fuck's sake. That's gonna be amazing. Probably Ghost Lady. I'm not. <laughs> don't particularly want to fight Ghost Lady, but I'm probably gonna have to fight Ghost Lady. By fight, I mean probably die. I think she can one hit quit you, you know. Oh, seriously, you're just out here. So key, warehouse, big weapon. Maybe shotgun? No shotgun. <laughs> Maybe grenade launcher. Alright. The theater. I'm coming for you. Thing about it is, is that because we're now in a new area, there's lots of areas to explore. 
which also means there's a lot